just poured out for you All I wanna do is bring you glory and honor Good morning everyone, so it is coming eight minutes past nine so it's been nearly two hours since i got up i decided to instead of doing a back and biceps workout on its own i was going to add a run on because i didn't do my run last week so i was like right i'm going to catch up on that because i go with jasmine and i don't want to like be behind but i don't know i don't actually know if she's done that run yet but i don't mind repeating it so i had to run like one kilometer three minute walking another kilometer three minute walking so like two kilometers really so it wasn't too bad it's just very boiling very warm and i woke up this morning and i had started my period so you know to film a video do a heavy workout and be up early that takes some motivation when when i feel the way i do but really speak about my faith that much on youtube i do on my social media and instagram and tiktok but on my youtube not really i think i've done it like maybe once and then a little bit in my new year goals videos when i was talking about my spiritual goals with god um i haven't really actually done that much content i am thinking of doing some more christian content on this account i haven't fully decided yet from turning it 100 percent christian content but i'm definitely going to incorporate christian content within the week but i might actually also be cutting down my videos per week depending if i get time or not i'll try to get two videos during the week the issue is I work now so I'm in college Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday I work so it's just about figuring out what's going to work for me. I am going to, I'm literally making this Monday morning and it's going out Monday morning so like it's going out today when it's being filmed um, because I didn't want to like leave you guys hanging or anything like that. Uh, but yeah so usually in the morning when I prioritise God and everything I don't go on my phone unless it's to just uh, message key but i message key on snapchat so that's the only form of social media i go on but it's like i'm going through people's stories i'm just messaging him you know to be like good morning how are you kind of thing um so apart from that i don't go on social media straight away in the morning i don't actually go on social media until i'm eating my breakfast so i tend to try to avoid it as much as i can and if i'm not too hungry and i don't feel like i'm going to keel over i tend to do my god time before i eat um, but it is actually just dependent on you know like what my day schedule is like how hungry i am right now i'm not too hungry which is shocking because i am on my period and i usually get really like craving weird things on my period but i'm not too bad i have got a really bad headache though from doing a heavy workout and it's probably because i'm on my period but yeah, so I'm doing my skincare now. I like to take care of myself, not just for me, but also just respecting the body that God gave me and the skin he gave me and the life I get to live because he's given it me. He's given, I've woken up another day, like that's something to be grateful for because not everyone does. That's why I work out because it used to be to stay fit, lose weight. And sometimes it still is, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I struggle with that. Um, but mostly it's just honoring my body because i know that god's given me a body where i get to move and it's like not everyone gets to go on a run or gets to lift weights because there's like conditions obviously that people may have which stops them from doing that my skincare is done i did wash my face by the way i just washed it in the shower i literally feel so low in mood right now so i do really need to do my god time because it's just i've had a stressful sunday night we'll say and i'll speak about it Ooh. That was a ball. I'll speak about it more in detail later. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do like a little bit later where I'll speak about it. Even though it's not summer, I'm kind of tempted to do my gold time outside today. I mean, we haven't actually got any seats outside. I'll have to take out like the bench press seat thing in the gym that we have. But like, I might actually sit outside. It is a tad windy, but I just feel like it'd be like really refreshing. And you know, just being out and being like, oh, God made this, God made everything the way it is. Like, I'm like talking too much. I'm gonna get my Bible now to do my God time. <laughs> okay, so I've actually decided not to sit outside because I think I will be a bit chilly out there. But I'm gonna open the dining room door to get some fresh air because of my headache. I just feel like I need some fresh air. And then also since it's windy, if I read my Bible, my pages might flick back and forth, which is gonna be really irritating. Right, I'm gonna do my God time. I'm procrastinating, um, and I'll get back to you after. <laughs> doing my bible study but usually after i've read i'm reading the bible from like the start to the end in order but i do read a psalm a day so i thought i'd just read a little psalm before i go into worship so i'm on psalm 140 it's deliver me O lord from evil men deliver me O lord from evil men preserve me from violent men who plant evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually they make their tongues sharp as a serpent and under their lips is a venom of an 
of asps. <laughs> Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have planned to trip up my feet. The arrogant have hidden a trap for me, and with cords they have spread a net. Beside the way they have set snares for me. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Give ear to my voice for my pleas for mercy, O Lord. O Lord, my Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not further their evil plot, or they will be exalted. As for the head of those who surround me, let the mischief of the lips overwhelm me. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into fire, into me pits, no more to rise. Let not the slanderer be established in the land. Let evil hunt down the violent man's feeling. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and execute justice for the needy. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. So that is the sound of the day. <laughs> It was actually quite good doing my god time, obviously it always is, but sometimes I just find it difficult to like understand what I'm reading. And I mean, I know the Bible isn't easy to understand, but sometimes when I read the Bible recently, I feel like I'm not really getting anything from it because I'm kind of just reading it and then not writing anything down. I'm like, I don't even know what to write down. I'm currently reading Joshua and um, it's actually, I actually got something from it today. Like I was reading just like, you know, when the uh, walls of Jericho, is it the walls of Jericho? Have I just got, it is the walls of Jericho, isn't it? Yeah, it is, you know, when they play the trumpets and, you know, shout and to the Lord and then, yeah. <laughs> so I was reading about that and obviously I'm very happy, is that you say name? The prostitute, she obviously like hid Joshua from the people who were coming after him. And then obviously she's been blessed by having safety of her family, for her family once, you know, the walls of Jericho came down. And then it kind of just reminded me like in today's like world, how we're gonna have to make sacrifices, we're gonna have to give things up, and sometimes we're gonna get persecuted for them, and sometimes we're not. But either way, we've gotta do it because God, at the end of the day, He's gonna bless us from that and He's gonna have His show His favour upon us if we do things for Him and you know serve Him. And and because obviously she could have got killed if they discovered like that. She wasn't because of God, but like she could have there was a risk of knowing that she could be hurt, she could be killed or persecuted by hiding Joshua, but she trusted, protected him, and by the end of it, she obviously her and her family were all saved and um, yeah, so it's something to take away. Breakfast wise, I've just made my overnight wheat bix with protein yogurt, which is literally so good, especially when you've got a sweet tooth. And same on my period, and I'm really craving chocolatey things. It's like the perfect breakfast I could have made. So I usually, in the mornings, when I have my breakfast, I watch TV. My dad is in there, so I don't think I'm going to watch TV. I might watch YouTube on my phone. I feel awkward watching TV with my parents sometimes. I don't know why. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so before I end the video here, I did say I'd discuss, let me just move this camera, I'd discuss a little bit about how life is at the moment. So, obviously, I'm speaking spiritually wise because this is a Christian morning routine. I've been under heavy spiritual attack recently, like a heavy spiritual attack. <laughs> For the past, like, two months, I have just been, it's the best way to put it, like, I've got, like, this little knot of like a ball in my stomach and I'm like it's, it's like anger and I'm like putting it out on other people which isn't fair and so I'm meant to apologize a lot but since I'm doing that and I'm putting my anger out on other people that makes me feel even worse because it's like oh why can't you control your emotions you never like this oh you upset everyone kind of thing like how I have been recently so that's maybe why if I have done videos I seem a bit off I don't know if I do but maybe I do it depends on when I film them to be honest because sometimes I'm alright and then it kind of hits me out of nowhere and I'm just kind of like feeling that same feeling again the thing getting me through is just like we're never promised an easy life as a Christian never I mean, promised an easy life but walking with God is much better than walking doing what I was doing before and that feeling of never feeling skinny enough has come back and Feeling like I'm eating too much and all that kind of stuff and I've got to push past it because I know that God created me the way I am and I take care of myself and I am healthy and it's all in my head and, and that spirit of comparison as well. I, I find that a lot of people, including myself, deal with that feeling of comparing themselves to everyone else. What they look like maybe or what they've achieved compared to what you've achieved and for me it's like the work I've done compared to other people's work, you know, who I am as a person compared to other people, how I look compared to other people. Like, I compare. A lot and it's like breaking that chain off me it's like praying against it constantly it's like being aware like god revealed that to me i'm so happy he did because i wasn't even aware like i knew i compared myself to th things and people but like i never realized the spiritual aspect of it and there is a spirit obviously behind everything i never even thought about praying against that so that is what i'm starting to pray against now is that spirit of comparison that is seems to be running 
throughout generations because I think it is a generational thing. Overall, I've not been the best mentally, but it is about just pushing through and relying on God and his word. And sometimes, don't get me wrong, I'm just a bit like, oh, praying again, are you kidding me? What is the point? And because I feel like that is natural, but then you've got to do it anyway, because you know that there is a point. And even if you can't see a change, there's a change happening. Um, and it's about staying consistent. Doubt what God can do in your life. Um, so yeah, I, I am struggling with my body image, for example, which is, seems to be a, a, a very big occurrence for me. Um, and it does drain me a little bit. But as awful as it is right now, I know that in the future, I'm not gonna have to suffer with this. There's a reason behind like why this is happening. Um, I don't wanna cry, so. But yeah, there's a reason behind why it's happening and why I am struggling. And, and it's not just, it's up to me as well and how I speak to myself, like if I'm telling myself I'm not skinny enough or that kind of stuff, then yeah, I'm not gonna feel like I'm good enough. For all I play in this, because I have free will, um, and I can admit that I'm not the best when it comes to stuff like that. I can speak to myself in quite a bad way, which is what there's something I have to break. Um, but again, carry on praying about it. Like, the other day I was feeling really drained, I was just a bit like, oh, I can't even bother anymore. Like, what's the point of praying about this because it's not going away, I'm just gonna have to deal with it for life. Words like that have power. So I can't be saying stuff like that, do you know what I mean? I've got to be careful about speaking out. All of a sudden I've got all this hurt and pain which is coming out of nowhere and it's like all just very there in my face and I'm trying not to take it out on people. <laughs> and that's difficult sometimes because like, I don't really know how to handle it. Like, I am praying about it, but in everyday life I'm struggling to handle it. Like, I can snap like that all of a sudden like, so the littlest thing can trigger me and I get really defensive and like these walls just shoot up and I don't even know where those walls have come from because I thought personally I was like yeah I've not got much hurt to guys I'm healed from most things but like I'm completely on the opposite end like I've got a lot right now that I'm dealing with it's kind of just getting through it and I don't really speak to many people about it not even really keen to be honest it takes me a while to open up to him and not because I don't trust these people it's just because I feel I don't want to make things about me and I don't want to be self selfish. I feel like I'm selfish by even doing this, talking about it on this video, to be honest. And like, even when I speak to God about these kind of things, like I feel selfish. Like I'm like, oh, I'm making it about me. You know, I've got to be grateful that I've got a life to live. Like, why am I, you know, talking about my emotions? There's so much more other things to worry about. I'm being selfish when I, when I speak about my emotions and I don't want people to think that I'm trying to make everything about my own issues and my own life because I know other people struggle too and have their issues and, that's why I also I hate taking my anger out of other people because it's like I know that that can hurt them, I don't know what they're going through. So it's it's just learning to handle it all, to be honest. Um but I'm trying, I'm getting there, I'm reading my word every day, I'm spending time with God, I'm trusting, even when sometimes I don't trust, I turn and tell myself trust in him. I am a bit more low and I feel really tired all the time and I'm gonna pray outside as well. I keep forgetting to pray outside. I forget to pray about things. Because oh, I always seem to be tired and I don't know why. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I can go to sleep at a normal time and wake up at a normal time and I'm exhausted. Like, I'm tired today. And obviously, I know I'm on a period, but like, even last week and the week before that, the week before, like, I'm just always tired. And I don't know what that, I don't know where that's coming from. That's my little spiritual rundown and where I am at the moment. Um, but it's the reason I'm, I am saying anything, even though I don't even know if I'm going to keep this in the video, I'll see. <laughs> but it's just to make people aware that's okay. Like, being a Christian is difficult and it's okay for it to be difficult. And knowing that you're going to get through it, even if in the moments you feel like you can't, because you can, because God is with us and God is for us. It's about really just relying on Him and laying it at his feet and then trying your best not to worry or stress yourself out about it and um, so as i go on into these next few weeks i'll carry on praying about it carry on praying against the spirit of comparison and also pray against doubting myself a lot um, and the doubt probably comes from comparison i'm sorry this is like really depressing sorry I've made this like a really depressing video. I'm not trying to make it depressing. I'm just trying to be open. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know again, I made it a bit depressing. Don't even know if I'll keep it in. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.